Hi everybody, I wanted to talk for a few minutes about a collection of manga from Yoshiharu Suge um, that was published last year by John and Corley. John and Corley is planning on creating seven volumes and this is the first volume, The Swamp, and the second volume is going to be called Red Flower. It's coming out later this year, I believe in July. And Suge's work is similar to uh, Yoshihiro Tatsumi's work, which is Gakiga, which is a more realistic, gritty type of manga. It's not, at the time in Japan, in the 50s, there was a movement called Gakiga, which was more realistic, crime, noir, and then later on about the struggles of people in Japan. It was much different than what uh, Ozuma Tezuka was doing, which was he was doing historical fiction, but he was also doing um, a lot of lighthearted stuff. He was doing all different types of manga. And so apparently he wasn't that much of a fan of the style. But um, recently, in the last maybe 10, 15 years, this style has become much more popular here in the States. And so just wanted to mention this book first. Um, so I'm not familiar, I wasn't familiar with any of his work before. I just decided to take a flyer on it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, this is printed in the manga format, which we're reading it um, right to left. And the work reminds me a bit of uh, Tatsumi's in that it does have greediness, but where a lot of Tatsumi's work, at least the words been published in the U.S., is kind of gritty, kind of almost depressing. Um, there's different types of stories here. Like, this is a story about a guy who is um, supposed to be a guy who travels from town to town because he's supposed to be a famous um, fighter. And so what you find out is that he goes... He, he, at first, the, the, the narrator thinks he's a fraud, but then you realize, no, he really is a legitimate fighter, but he goes town to town because that's the only way he can make a living. And it's kind of, and he says in this unforgiving thing we call life. So you have some of that depressing, kind of pessimistic outlook that you would find in Gakiga. And then you have a lighthearted story where these two guys decide they're going to make watermelon sake where they're filling watermelons with sake. And they're like, we're going to be rich, we're going to be rich. And at the end, the narrator says, yeah, but... Uh, there's no history in, of these men becoming rich because watermelons only grow in the summer. So you can't be rich if you have a seasonal product that only grows in one of the four seasons. Um, this Destiny is a sort of like a bittersweet story that has like a, not a Twilight Zone end, but kind of like a Twilight Zone end, but in a happy way. Um, so there's a different type of story, which is what I like. It's The one thing I will say about the Tatsumi's work, it's excellent, but... When you read the collected works, at least the ones published in the U.S., there's a lot of, it's just a lot of pessimism, a lot of very hard knocks. I mean, it's indicative of what the Japanese were going through in the 60s and 70s as far as socially. But this is just different types of stories. Then here you have a guy who's kind of like bumbling along in this story, which is a cute story. And then you have other stories here. You have the story of this little boy, the story about this little boy that he wants this really special book and he's trying to figure out how to get the book. And it's a really sweet story and the ending is really nice um, here. Um, so it's cute there. So like I said, a different type of theme. And then there's this long form story here where um, it's called The Ninjas. And it basically features this um, warlord who people are trying to kill. And we're here, you've had like a lot of light, fun stories. You have kids and everything's very peaceful and you have some funny things here. This is like, can be straight out of like Lone Wolf and Cub as far as the action. Um, and let me show you some of the fight scenes. I mean, some of the fight scenes here are just really gory and just really effective. I mean, that kind of blew me away because I'm like, whoa, like this guy can really draw violence and gore and action very well um, without trying to like faking it like he can really do it and then here you have a long interview and story and reprints about Suge and I like this book because it is a Gakiga but it's different types of stories. Some are lighthearted, some are very action oriented and bloody, some are sad, some are whimsical, some have that gift of the magi feel. It's a broader range and that's what I liked about it. And as I said, um, you can pick this up still 
And the second clutch is coming out this summer. If you like this, you probably you know, end up liking that. I know I'm going to pick it up. So that's really it. But um, it's good to see that some of these mangaka, you know, that have either passed on or very late in their lives are finally getting some recognition in the U.S. It's a very nicely printed hardcover. It's a drawn and quarterly book, so there's good quality in it. And um, I would definitely check it out. It's good stuff. And uh, just so you know, the interview reads left to right like um, like a um, American Western style type of book. But this was also very interesting and gave you a lot of information on Gakiga and on Suge himself. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy this. Thanks.